But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Can we play Gwent? No? Okay. Hey everyone, my name is Mike, and in this video, we'll hopefully be finding out where Dandelion is, because he's been missing for some time. We've actually got two quests, guys, and the objectives seem very similar. One of them is to question Reuben about Dandelion's disappearance, and the other one is to just talk to Reuben in the, in the bathhouse. Now, this one says Siggy Reuven, and that one says Reuven, so I'm guessing there's only one guy with the surname Reuven. So, um, we're going to go in and see what our options are to speak to the guy. See, okay, this is not actually where we're meant to be, so... Let me try and figure out where we're going. Is it in here? Is it, there's a door actually here. There we go. Found it. Anybody there? Open up. It's a bathhouse apparently, so I think it's kind of like a private type club. I don't think um, it's open to anyone. That's why we're having to knock. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Don't care? Busy with what? Don't care? Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Reuben we'll have time to see you. Wanna bed? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Is that him talking? Siki Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The way he laughed doesn't suit his face. You expect him to talk more like, Hey, get the fuck out of here. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. Oh, we got to get naked, have we? Do we get a towel? Not sure if I want to see Geralt's penis today. Get Junior. So one... Your equipment will be safe. Alright, we'll have to get undressed here. So the quest's objectives are get to the bathhouse and talk to Reuben and get undressed. Alright, so we have to get undressed. We can put our stuff anywhere, can we? Let's put it on this one. Is he naked? Has he got he's got a towel. Thank God for that. Splendid. Siggy Reuben awaits in the next room. So if the like the bathhouse is closed, right? It's not actually close, is it? Well, oh, she's naked. She completely naked, or she got pants on? She got pants on. Yeah, she's got pants on. <laughs> um, are we just gonna walk in then? Here we go. Easy, Cleaver. Or son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll Is that our friend, the away. dwarf? And only when all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. We've seen him before. I remember his um, tattoo on his eye. The corner of his eye. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. I know oh, he's not our friend, the little dwarf. As little dwarf. Boys, I'm out of the swiping loop. Who the fuck are you? He looks similar. That's not racist though, is it? Hopefully. Reuven can introduce me. I'm a witcher. Need to talk to Siggy. Uh, need to talk to Siggy. None of your business, actually. Let's be quite rude. None of your business. Your friend got a death wish. <laughs> no, just short on manners. Witches aren't exactly the sophisticated urban types. Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. He's got awesome senses, honey. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Holy shit. Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. Do I get one? Is he really going to trust me with a weapon? I mean, I wouldn't trust Geralt with a weapon when there's assassins just walked in and you're already suspicious against Geralt. Because he's like, could be an inside man. Right, I've got a club. Um, what's the, defeat the assassins. Does it matter if anyone dies? I'm guessing I can use my sign still. Oh, 
Let's put some people on fire. I was trying to hit the other guy then, it kept going to him. But the other guy's on my side, that's why I can't hit him. I keep pushing the stick towards him, thinking I'm gonna move, but no. Just get hit, will you? There we go. That guy was too good at blocking. There's loads of dead bodies, so I've only killed like one, two, maybe. It's, it's quite, whenever there's like smoke in the game, the game gets the frame rate goes. Oh my god, the, the frame rate goes terrible. I, I haven't even got any food on me, so I've got to make sure I don't die here. Let's put the shield on just to be safe. Ooh. Go away. <laughs> Is he hitting me, that guy? Oh. Need, one Need one alive. Quest updated. I can't believe they got beat by men in towels. It's pretty embarrassing. Good work, gents. Is he wearing a hand towel because he's Terrible short? Sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse-son scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. So they gotta trust me now because I saved their ass, Or I helped. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. I mean, if, if I was with them, why would I be attacking them? So, got to see Horson, talk to him. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? Um, personal matter, he's going to help me find someone. I think we're talking about looking for Dandelion, and we need to make sure we don't mention Dandelion, so we're just going to say personal matter. It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, was a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse Sun's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, Geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, wanna find Geriatric. Son? Find me first. So where will I find Junior? Hope I find Junior before Cleaver does. Let's ask where we can find him. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Tell you what, the, the tattoos were terrible back then, weren't they? Looking on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that I had my... Re Did I hit him? Break his ankle, I mean? What are they referring to? Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuven. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Orson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. 
work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Horson, what's he own with? He's strong. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue though. Do we really have to go around and check all these places? Oh, there's, there's too many of these quests now where you've got to speak to like five different people just to find one answer and they're all spread out. It's a bit... It's 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 like padding the game a little bit. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's gotten out to do with a casino officially. So careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. All right. Where do we find the arena? Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf. But you'll have to enter through the bits. Endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Alright, so maybe we can get to the fights and then um, get his attention that way if he's there. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. So, Tamar went to look for Horson, so I'm guessing the arena's a good bet to go to. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. Oh, do you want to play some Gwent? <laughs> no more happened to Dandelion. Let's talk about that first. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with nightingales. Tools. He's got a way of words, this guy, isn't he? Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Oh, no! Loot. Far as I'm concerned, <laughs> well rotting him. down there with a goddamn trombone. So, why so irritable? <laughs> it's like... What about you? Any beef with Dandelion? Eh, let's ask that one. Seem a bit prickly. Something bothering you? Sorry. I know I've been unbearable lately. But at my age, the menopause, what with hot flushes and violent mood swings? Dijkstra, men don't get menopause. You know that, don't you? Yes, you moron. I also know you don't He's very sarcastic, this guy. Problems. What do you want? You got me. Need work. Thought you might throw some my way. Monster trouble, that sort of thing. Yeah. Might be able to help me, in fact. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion. Establish what happened to him. So maybe I can help. What do you need? Why do you say, what do you? What do you need? Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tribe. Ah, and you do realise, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. A razor? Figured as much. Excellent. That sounds a bit One last gruesome. request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Alright, so he's going to show us something. Oh, we're still in the bathhouse then. We just levelled up as well, that's pretty cool. How come we're allowed in here without, without armor on? Put us against the rules to not wear a towel. Oh, he's got secret compartments. This this is nice. Oh, it's actually like a, a switch. 
So the floor must open inside the um, the bath. Be so kind as to follow me. I hope we still get to play Gwent at some point. He doesn't disappear because I want to play. It was like a yellow, so it normally means that it's like a quest to to play Gwent. So, yeah, the quest there is the, about the junior stuff. Is this a quest now that we've got going on with this guy? Ow. Um, I'm not sure if this is the quest. This is, a, this is actually a quest or just like a, a side thing. I suppose he's going to give me a quest at the end of this, isn't he? Once I... Because he said, follow me and you can do this job. Oh, Bart. Not again. Bart. Who's Bart? Oh, he's got a monster. Bart, stop that. Now. Bart. Man. It's like a rock troll. Bart makes Ziggy look joyful. Beating your head against the wall won't change that. Bart, huh? Bart, less thinky. Bart, less thinky. Someone tells me that Bart in English is not his first language. It speaks very bad. Why do you bring me here? So wait, yeah, it seems like he's a friend of some kind. So he doesn't want me to kill it, does he? Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. Noted. And see that door? Vault behind it, until recently filled with Novigrad crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfun go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold. Was that Dandelion that did that? And you will help me get it back. Fine, I'll help you. Fine, I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right, ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. Can we play Gwent? No? Okay. Thieves got in through the hole. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's... Listen, if you don't want me help, I can leave. I'm wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Hole no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look no. Only sleep. Bad oh my god, these guys are so frustrating to listen to. Head they just make no sense. I don't even know what he just told me. Boom, care to elaborate. Bad mushrooms, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> the, that doesn't, what? Boom, what's he talking about boom? A bomb? Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom! Bigger this like Bigger this like I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Why is um why do rock trolls exist? Like why why is he here? Like they just seem like they're no use. Bad mushrooms, what do you mean? Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. Bad. Bad. Troll. He's got Not awful gums, hasn't he? Dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers other side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, you hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. Yep. Yeah. Get it out. Now, now. Stiff up a lip. Try to track down the thieves. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hide this lummox fonts. Thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pops antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? 
Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, form a count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value me own even more. Dropped Fonz and ran like hell. Should look around the sewers. Right. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've not to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. All right then. Damn the lion! What the hell have you got yourself into? I do. What do you want? All right, guys. What we're going to actually do at the end of this video now is um, we'll play Gwent with this guy because he might give us a pretty cool card, and then we'll start the investigation of the explosion and the thieves and all that in the next video. So let's play Gwent for now. Ever play Gwent? Just mix it up a little bit, you know. Change Gwent's the pace of the game. Politics, just more honest. Care for a game against an old master? Let's play. Yeah, let's play. So um, normally when they have a yellow writing for like playing Gwent, they're normally pretty um, decent players and they probably have a good card to give you if you beat them. So let's play. Uh, let's see what we got. We got half decent up there, that's crap. And um, we'll switch that out as well. Got a dummy, that's not bad. Switch that out. Level 10 champion back for that one. We haven't got any spies. Normally what you want to do in this, these games are use spies and dummies to retain, retrieve the spies if they send the over to your side. And um, just get more cards for yourself. So um, we'll play... we've got... Let's just play this because it's just like a neutral card really. You can't buff it and it can't be destroyed. It's just a champion card. We have 10 points. Because we've got two mid, we'll use these, and if we have to, we'll buff the um, the mid. We'll use the horn on the mid. See, now he's given me that card, but I can't take that one back because it's a champion. So he's gained two cards there, that's a bit of a pain. Let's buff mid. And uh, I, might, I might pass now, just to save some cards. Oh, no way. He used that. Actually, um, we'll use the front card, and then we'll use the sun to clear that fog. Just to get more points on the board, and then we'll pass. Alright, he pretty much equaled us out there with that card. So let's use the sun, and then we'll pass. So you got a good lead there, like 13 points lead. So unless he destroys something... Oh my god! As I said it, he destroyed my highest card. Uh, now we're only one point lead, so I'm gonna pass anyway. And um, he's gonna he's gonna put one more card down probably, and then beat us. So uh, it's not a good it's not a good game actually for this for us this because we didn't get any spies. So he's kind of wasted that card there. He gave himself ten points when oh now he's taking that one back. All right. So we didn't win by too much. Like he he played well there. It, it, a lot of this, this game purely comes down to luck though, it's not even, there's not even much skill in it, it's just, the reason I like to play it so much is because um, getting the rewards of new cards, it's just addictive, like when you play, when you were a kid, collecting Pokemon cards, you know, it's just, you never really played the game that much, you just collected the cards, so we'll put the highest scoring card on the table. I don't see me myself winning in this. Now. What I can do is I can buff my Siege, so I'm going to put Siege stuff down now, and then we'll have nothing left really. <laughs> it's a bit crappy. Right, she's the Sun. Maybe he hasn't got much left. Let's uh, let's buff that now. And then maybe if he passes, we still have um, a Siege card to use. Let's see what he does now. Oh, you dick face. He's, got two, he's had two Scorch cards in this round. That's unbelievable. 
Like if we win this round, we get an extra card. He's taking back a six. Alright, so... I'll take back one of my cards then. I'll take back the mid one. And then we'll win a, get another card. When I pass now, because we'll win the round. Oh shit, you know... He's only, got, he's only got the six left now, yeah. So he's passed. I'll, I'll have this card that I've got on the deck, on, on the table. Not the table, excuse me, in my hand. And then we'll get another card now because we won the round. So we should be able to win this quite easily. He's only got a six. So as long as we get a card... Yeah, here we go, we won. Easy. Actually, I don't know what his um, leader card does. I'm not sh It might mess me up. Hopefully it won't, but you never know. Eight. I thought it was a six that he took back. There we go. He's, he's got no cards left. We won. We won. So we had a shaky start there, but we won. That's good. Let's see what card we get. See you don't have Esterad Tyson in your deck. Here, he's yours. Oh, we got Thanks. a really Esterad Tyson. Win some cards off of. Mm. I know an elf you might try. Got an excellent card in his deck. You'll find him beyond the city walls, where the Squiertel stragglers have their shanty town. All right, so let's open the um, a quest for big city players to get another decent card. That's him. Um, before we end the end the video, guys, we'll check and see what card we just got. We got that guy there, Estrad Tyson, at level t level ten for the Northern Realms champion card. So that's him. Um, let's put that in the deck now, and we'll take something out that's not as good, like that archer there at the bottom. Where have we gone? This one. She's crap. Because you want to have a um, the most. You have to have at least twenty two unit cards, and I like to have um, just that number, and then make sure they're all decent. You know, there's no point having more more cards and then having all these ones in there, because then there's a chance that you might draw these and you have a shit hand. You know, you want to have as many good cards as you can in your deck. Alright then guys, that's all we got time for for this video. In the next one, we'll start off with this quest, Count Reuven's Treasure. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.